What's going on my dudes? How y'all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Today, I kind of want to talk about Adobe Premiere Rush. As some of you may know, they just officially released it for Android users. And if you don't know, I use a, a Samsung phone. So I officially can, can play around with Adobe Rush and see, see what it's good at, see what it's not good at, see why that you would want to use it. So I just want to share my opinions on it. And this isn't going to be like a full on review of this app or everything that you can do with it. I just kind of want to touch on like what I think it's good for, what I think it can do for creators, especially new creators. I started my YouTube channel filming with my phone. So anytime there's some some sort of app or program that you can get on your phone for free and and easily that is going to help you make better videos from your phone, that's always cool for me. I love to see that stuff because I think that using your phone is a great place to start a YouTube channel, it's a great place to start creating because if you think you might wanna start creating and start making YouTube videos or start making Instagram videos, starting on your phone, starting on the thing that you already have in your pocket every day, I think is a really good way to see if it's something that you really wanna do before you go out and spend all sorts of money on cameras and lights and all, all sorts of crazy gear and stuff. I think it's a good place to start to make sure that it's, it's a path that you wanna take. That's what I think Adobe Premiere Rush is gonna be really good for, is a lot of newer creators, but also anybody who's been filming for a while, for a couple years now, I think it's good for them too because it's an easy little tool to shoot some footage on your phone and make it look good and post it right to Instagram or post it right to YouTube if you want to. I think it's just a really good way to get out a quick video. If you wanna make a quick Instagram video, a quick IGTV video, a quick Instagram story, it's a good place to kinda of do that really fast and right from your phone and Adobe Rush actually has a built-in camera where you can you know shoot video or photo right from the app itself and that has a ton of different features that your native camera app on your phone might not have so that's super cool to be able to just go right into the app and shoot right from there I think that's really important I think that's really cool to have there is only one thing that I will say that I don't like about it. And I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it's just Samsung phones, but I had this same problem when I was using Filmic Pro, which is just a, a, another app that you can add on to your phone to make your camera more, more complex. You know, it, it has a lot of different shutter speed, a lot of different frame rates that your native camera app might not have. So that's what I was using when I was shooting on my phone. And the, the thing that I will say that I have had trouble with on my Samsung device is you see this little box in this little circle? So the box is your focus box. So you place that where you want focus. And the little ring is your exposure ring and you move that around and you lock it where you want the your phone to take exposure from. And on Filmic Pro it had this same type of system and on Adobe Premiere Rush it has the exact same thing. And on my Samsung device, on Adobe Rush and Filmic Pro, the exposure ring does not do anything. It doesn't change the exposure, it doesn't pull exposure, it does nothing. So if you're using a Samsung device, like I said, I don't know if it's just me or if it's every, anyone using a Samsung device, if, if any of you have tried it on your Samsung phone and, it, and you're having the same problem, let me know. Or if you think that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know, but I've had this problem for a while on this phone specifically that the exposure ring just does not work. It doesn't do anything for me. It works perfectly fine on my Google phone not a problem at all works perfectly fine so that's why i think it might be this phone it just doesn't do anything so if i want to shoot on my samsung device on this app i have to rely on auto exposure and that is just not something that i really prefer to do because i want my stuff to look professional i don't want exposure changing all the time you know you you get what i mean and so that's the only problem i have with this app and it's not necessarily my app like i said filmic pro was doing the same thing so I think it might just be my phone, so it might not be a problem for you, but it's a problem for me, and that, that kind of bums me out. Now, obviously, there is a premium version of this app. You can pay a subscription, a monthly fee, to get all of the features that this app has, but like I said at the beginning of this video, if you're a new creator and you don't really have the money to spend on gear or spend on software or spend on apps and stuff, the free version will do you just fine to start creating stories and start making videos and start you know, doing what you want to do and start building your audience on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is that you decide to do, it's a good place to start. And I, I think that's my, my main opinion on Adobe Premiere Rush, whether it's for Android or for iPhone, like whatever it is, if you're using the Adobe Rush app, I think it's a really good place for creators to start. I wish that it was around when I started because I would totally be using it because you can film, 
edit and post right from the app and I think that's really that's just that's just super cool it's great I, I just really like when companies put out things that are free that are really easy for people to use and start creating that's that's exciting for me so that's really all I had to say just wanted to share my my opinions my first impressions on Adobe Premiere Rush I think it's a good app for for new creators and and you know experienced creators too if you just want to do something real quick I think it's really good for that so thanks so much for watching this video if you guys liked it you know the drill leave me a comment hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you aren't already if you feel like being a dude ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos that'd be pretty cool huh I think it would and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one Thank you.